Okay, so let's try the next coding exercise. So open the leetcode.com and go to the problems tab and just scroll down and the search question and search merge k sorted list and hit enter. So we have the question number 23 and it's come under the hard category. All right, but uh, I believe it's not hard. All right. So let's try to read the question. So click it. So merge case sorted list. You are given an array of K linked list. So the array is list. So we have some given some array. Array means list. List is given. And within the array, we have for that like this list is a set of few linked list. So this is the one linked list. This is the second linked list. This is the third linked list. And all the linked list are sorted. So the first linked list 145 is sorted. The second linked list 134 is sorted. The third linked list 226 is sorted. Merge all the linked list into one sorted linked list and return it. So we have like the, the big one is not a linked list. Big one is the list. And inside the list we have given the linked list so multiple linked list are given so list list are the combination of the linked list all right now we have to merge the all these linked lists so basically we have to merge this we have to merge with this we have to merge with this and but the output should be sorted so as an example we have an array so this is the array like so you could see this bracket so this bracket this is the array is given and the array consists of or you can say list list consists of Three linked list 145, 134, 26, and all these are the sorted. So we we need to merge all those three and we need to make sure that output should be sorted. So one, one, then two, then three, then four, four, then five, and six. Okay, then how you are going to proceed? Okay, let's see the second example. In the second example, if there are if the array is empty. Array empty means there are no linked list. So we are returning output as in like an empty array. Okay. If we have given like a list, like a, still there is an empty, like empty array only, and we are going to return the like uh, the empty array only. All right. So like we have to merge. Okay. So how you are going to proceed? let's let's take some base example so base example is let's put if you have because uh, the length of the list could be k and k is 10 to power 4 which means one list one array can contain 10 to power 4 linked list and we know these are the singly linked list and if we need to merge any two linked list any two linked list then we have to like uh, we can traverse only in one direction. We can't traverse in, in the second direction. All right. So how you you are going to merge the two linked list? Let's suppose the array consists of only two linked list. All right. So, so let's suppose there is no third linked list. So how you are going to merge? We already did this question. Like uh, lead code 21, merge two sorted list. All right. So this question is just the extension of that. That's it. All right. So, in the in, earlier, we know how to merge the two sorted linked list. So, if we have to merge the two sorted linked list, what we did, we put the head pointer here and we put the head pointer here. We are comparing the both the head pointers, whatever is the smallest, we are storing into the some other linked list. Then we are like uh, uh, moving some head pointer. So, now the head pointer come to three and this is still at one. Then we are comparing one and three. So we know how to merge the two sorted linked list. But here we have to merge all the link, all the linked list. So does it mean we are taking the 10 to power four headers? Because if we going with this approach, like ideally we have to compare first element of this, first element of this, first element of this. If there are 10 to power four, then we will compare all the first element of all the linked list and then we are going to store all right so what we can do is because that is very like complicated 
to take uh, the uh, head head of like uh, to traverse all the link list in a, a like every time so what we can do is we know how to merge the two link list all right all right that we already know so that's the only concept which we are going to use so as an example we have three link list given 145 134 26 but it could be 10 to power 4 all right so what we can do is we will merge first two all right so we will get some output whatever the output we will get we will merge the third one so third one if we are merging the output with the third one it means we are only merging the two all right we are not merging like 10 to power 4 at a once we are only merging two at a time all right so the the same thing which we are going to do so what we are going to do i is equal to zero here and j is equal to one here so first we are merging i is equal to zero with j is equal to one then then we are going to increment j then j is here so when we merge now when we merge the first and the second we have to store somewhere so we are going to store in the position of i only you know like uh, if there are if there are some list element let's suppose you have some list given so list is given list is given a zero one so let's suppose a link list one link list two link list three link list four link list five and link list six and we know we need to merge all this so what what we what we are going to do we are first merging l1 with l2 now we merge l1 with l2 so but where we are going to store so we are going to store at l1 only so we merge l1 plus l2 all right and let keep the remaining element as it is all right so i is i is equal to zero here so i is equal to zero here one second let me give some space so i is equal to zero here and j is equal to one here all right so j is equal to so we merge i is equal to zero with j is equal to one and whatever the output will come we are storing at i is equal to zero only so now we are going to increment our j pointer now j is equal to two now we are going we are going to again merge with like now l1 plus l2 plus l3 and keep everything as it is l3 l4 l5 l6 all right so whatever the output will become we are going to store at the zeroth position now increment the j so j is equal to 3 now we are going to merge output with the output with the this link list so what will be the output l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 all right and remaining element will remain as it is all right so where we are storing we are storing at the zeroth index now we are increment our j now again we are merging zeroth element with the j so l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 plus l5 all right and rest of the elements are same so here is l2 so l2 l3 l4 l5 and l6 so i is equal to zero we are not incrementing our i now we are increment our j j is equal to five all right so j is equal to five now we are like merging again this link list and this link list so we are merging only two link list so what will be the output l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 plus l5 plus l6 like the, the, like this will be the sorted only this is the only one link list and remaining element will as it is l4 l2 l3 l4 l5 l6 then so here i is equal to zero only i is equal to zero then again we are going to increment our j so now j is equal to six which is like more than the length which is greater than the length of the or greater than or more than the length of uh, length of our link like a uh, list so then we are going to break so where is our merged sorted list so merged sorted list is 
at index zero. At index zero. So what we are going to do? What we are going to do? We know it's at the our output is at the index zero. So what we are going to do? We are going to return list of zero. List of zero. So if we are going to return list of zero, then we are getting this output. So the same thing which we have to do, and we know how to merge the two linked list, right? So the same thing which we have to do. And in the same in this diagram, we are doing the same thing. So we have like uh, maybe more. Let's suppose there are three linked lists. So we are merging first, uh, like uh, uh, first and second. We are storing at the zero index. Then we are incrementing j. Then we are like uh, like merging this with this. Then we will get the output. That's it. So how to do? So let's let's first try to cover the base scenario. So if length of list, if length of list is equal to zero. it means there are no element like there are no element then what we are going to return we are going to return the like list list only so we are going to return the so here we are giving l1 here we are giving l2 okay no one minute One minute. So the the function function is function looks wrong. One minute. So this is the function. So we have one. We have list given and list are the like the uh, array of linked list. So what what are the basic? If length of list equal to zero, if length of the list are equal to zero, if there are no element, then we are going to return the none. Okay. If length of list equal to one, that is there. There is only only one linked list. That is only one linked list. If it is there is only one linked list, and we know the linked list are in the sorted, then we don't need to merge. Then we are going to return list of zero. That is the zeroth element. Because if there are only one linked list, and so we don't need to merge with any other linked list. So we are going to just return, and it is at the zeroth index. So we are going to return the zeroth element. Okay. Then what else? If we have more than one, then we have to merge, right? So how we how we are how we are merging? So how we are merging? We are taking i zero and j is equal to one because if there are more than two, more than one, then i equal to zero. We are taking i i like i at zero, right? And we are taking j at one, right? J at one, and we have to run a loop till Till j is so let's calculate the length. So let's suppose n is equal to length of length of a list. So what is the length of the list? So one, two, three. So in this case there are three like in the array there are three linked list. So the length is three. So we will get n is equal to three. And till what point we are like if if we are starting from one then one and two. So we we have to run the loop while j less than n so we are running a loop while j less than n okay so okay so first j is equal to 0 fine then i is equal to 0 what we have to do right so we have to merge the first linked list and we have to merge the second linked list so let's create some function merge two linked list and these will take what argument it will take the first list and it will take the second list it will take the list of zero and it will take the list of j so j is one then j is equal to it will take that so let's create this function so def merge two linked list it will take the l1 it will take the l2 so what is l1 we have the list optional and list node and what is l2 l2 is also and what it is going to return it is going to return the merged linked list okay so now we have to write write some function uh, we, we are going to write so th th that is fine so 
when we are merging i is equal to 0 with j is equal to 1 so we will get something so where we are storing we are storing at the zeroth index so where we are storing list of zero so we are storing at the zeroth index okay then we are incrementing j is equal to j plus 1 all right so we are either we can mention i here or or we can directly mention 0. So if we are directly mention 0, then we don't need this parameter i is equal to 0. Then we don't need this parameter i is equal to 0. So, uh, or if you are taking i is equal to 0, then we can put i here and i here. Then j is equal to j plus 1. So so once everything will get finished, so, so once all the lists get like merged, what we have to return? Return list of 0 because we will get the merged link list at the zeroth index at the zeroth index the so list of zero now we have you have to write this function and we know how to write this function all right so how to write this function we already know so while l1 and l2 so we are traversing both the link list if l1 dot well so we will take it because we have to store uh, like uh, somewhere. So we will take the third third link list, right? And uh, we are storing its pointer. Let's storing its pointer because L3 is going to like uh, uh, increment again and again. So while L1 and L2, so L1 is pointing to this, this, this pointer, one pointer and L2 is pointing to this pointer. So first we are comparing. So if let's suppose if L1 dot value is less than equal to l2 dot value then what we have to do we have to point our l3 pointer so we will take some our l3 pointer so we are taking some our l3 pointer so this is our l3 pointer l3 so we will point our l3 whoever is the smallest all right so l3 dot next to l1 because l1 is smallest then we if l l1 is here let's suppose if l1 is pointing to this and l2 is pointing to this all right so we are comparing l1 with l2 if l1 is smallest then we are pointing l3 dot next is going to l1 and we we are going to increment our l1 we are going to increment our l1 so we are going to increment our l1 so l1 will reach here then so we are going to increment our l1 so l l1 is equal to l1 dot next else what else if l2 is smaller so now case l2 is smaller if l2 is smaller then what we have to do then we have to point l3 pointer to the this so l3 dot next is equal to l2 and then we are going to increment our l2 pointer as well l2 is equal to l2 dot next all right and we have to increment our l3 pointer l3 is good because l3 first l3 point here so now l3 will become this now l3 will point to this then then to this then this so this is just a, like we are merging so at the end, L L3 will reach at end, and we have to return node because we have stored the head of the L3 at somewhere. So we are returning node. So the node will store at the index zero. So node will store at the index zero. So it is storing at the index zero. Now we get the two merged link list. So we are getting the two merged link list. Then we are incrementing our J pointer. So J pointer will increment. Now we are passing these two link list into our merged function so now this 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 link list and this link list will go into our function into our function and it is going it is going to merge and it is returning one one link list and after that our like uh, j is like a uh, while condition is finished and we are returning so let's try to run it so some error is occur so let's see so here we have to write self okay so 
okay so here we have to return node dot next because node is the uh current element and the current element is zero okay let's try to run okay so one four five one three four one two six and we are getting one 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 fine two three fine four four and we are not getting five six so it looks we are not running our loop okay okay so we missed one condition what we what else like what condition we missed here so one condition we miss so if l1 because there could be condition like l because we are merging so we are merging l1 with the l2 and we are we are like a taking and operator so let's suppose let's when come to this condition so l1 is or 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 when come to this condition so l1 is pointing to here L2 is pointing to here. So it, it is running the loop till here. It is not running the loop till end. So we have to check. If there is still L1, then what, what we'll do? L3 dot next will point to the L1. Let's suppose if the length of L1 is still more. So if L2, then L3 dot next is equal to L2. Let's run. So now I accept it. So let's try to submit it. So our solution has been accepted, but if you noticed, we are beating only 10% of the people because this is not the optimal solution. Anyhow, because it's come under the hard category and we are able to solve using the naive approach or that and using that approach, all the test case has been accepted. So what approach we did is, we just did is like, Okay, because we know how to merge the two link list. So we are just merging the two link list. We are storing the output. We are storing at the zeroth index. Then we are implementing our J pointer. We are merging another two. So what we are just doing, we, we just create one function, which is going to merge two link list. And we know how to merge the two link list. And then, and then we are just taking the, uh, we are merging the zeroth element with the Jth element. And J is going to increment again and again till it is like a, uh, reach the end of the end of our length but if you noticed so like when we submitted the solution like there we can see so in the submission so if you note if you noticed we are beating only 10 percent of the people so because this because like uh so let's see let's see the complexity so the complexity is so so what is the length of n uh, what is the length of this length of this is k and how many elements uh, in the one one list? It could be list of i dot length could be five hundred, right? So we are taking n into k operation, like uh, like o of n k. So can we? Can... So we know we we are able to solve this question, but it is not optimized. So what is the other other way? So we are not going to do the other way, but there is an other way. The other way is a little bit uh, like a tricky, or you can't say it's tricky, but we have to use the heap data structure. So we should know the concept of the heap, heap data structure, data structure Python. So heap Q. So this data structure is being using, and the, we are using the min heap Q concept. So min heap. So we we have to use the min heap data structure concept. So in the min heap data structure concept, the first node, the first node is the smallest one. Like whoever is the root node is the smallest one. So min heap. And in the max heap, the first one is the maximum node. So the one is smallest. So and we know that uh, like uh, the root should be smallest. So root is smallest as compared to nine and eight. Okay. Then if you compare nine, is nine is smaller than two and three? No. So two will move here and nine is going to move here. So the like, uh, or you can see here or. So basically like uh, so this is the max heap and this is the min heap. Yeah, this, this is the correct diagram. So in the max heap, if you see uh, the, the root has the highest element. So root is 10. It is 
greater than 8 and 4. So, hits 8. 8 is the, the root of this tree. So, 8 is greater than 5 and 1. Then this 4. So, 4 has like there is no no like uh, nodes. The min heap. In the min heap, the root has the lowest element. The minimum element. So, 1 is less than the it's like uh, uh, you can say uh, branches 2 and 4. 2 if you consider only this tree. 2, 5, 8. So, 2 is the smallest. If you consider 4, so 4 is the only element. So we have to, we if we use the min heap data structure in this code, then it will be more easy. So how, how we are going to use? So we know we have 1, 4, 5, 1, 3, 4, 2, 6. And we know all the elements are the sorted. So what we can do is we can put first, like first element of the first node, first element of the second, second link list and first element of the third link list. Because we know in all the link list, their first element is smallest, right? But which we have to put decide whether one is smallest or whether this one is smallest or whether two is smallest. So what we can do is we need the smallest element. So what we can do is we can pick the first element of this, first element of this and first element of this. We are going to create a, we are putting in the heap data structure. So as soon as we put into the heap data structure, and we will we will like apply the min heap concept. So the first element will become the minimum. So first element will come the minimum of all the linked list. So as soon as we will get the first element, then we are going to pop it. And we are going to pop it and we are going to store it at somewhere. That is the result, result linked list. Then we are going to increment our pointer. Now the pointer will go to 4. Now the pointer will go to 3. Now the pointer will go to 6. Right. So two, four, uh, sorry, two, three, and six. So we are, we have, we will insert two, three, six into the data. So two and four still there. So one second. So one and two still there. Uh, now we are inserting four, three, and six. Then again, we are going to like uh, implement the concept of the min heap. So out of all the second elements and compared to the first element, we are getting the minimum element at, at the top because we are implementing the min. Then we are poke the minimum element we are going to poke the minimum minimum element and the remaining element will keep as it is so as soon as we poke the element we will get the second element so in the same way we if we use this minimum heap data structure then we will see like uh, we are optimizing the solution so maybe in some another video we will like uh, implement the heap data structure but for the time being we are able to solve this question because this is come under the hard category our First intention should be, are we able to solve this question? Yes, we able to solve this question. And by which approach? We know how to merge the tool link list. That's it. If we know how to merge the tool link list, we will merge this tool link list. Whatever the output, we are going to merge with the third link list. And the same thing which we do. So you can also try this question. So that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, thank you.